All right. Play game. Okay, we are hopping back into Death Must Die. For anyone uh, who was not here yesterday when we tried this for the first time, this is a weird combination of a game that's like Vampire Survivors and a game that is like Hades, where you meet different gods, there's actual story and stuff like that. But as uh, Flu would say, for some reason, all the ones in this game are just so hot. So, you know, we've got that to deal with, too. Did I leave the Discord channel? Yes, I did. Okay, so last time, we had done a run with this fire lady, and we unlocked this rogue thief, I don't know, dagger lady? So we're going to be, we, uh, for the story, I need to do a run on her and see how it goes. So we will see what happens. And I like how she's walking around in high heels and thigh highs. Okay, how does her attack work? It's like two rapid stounds. Okay. Now you can do the attack manually or put it on auto. Downside to auto is while attacking you move slower. So sometimes you would want to turn that off because otherwise you, uh... She says worthless item. Otherwise you, uh, won't be able to... Greetings move. to you, champion. I Angel am the Mom? Arbiter of Justice. It is a pleasure to finally meet. The Arbiter of Justice shows up when I'm playing the sneaky rope. Death has wronged both your kind and mine, and for this he must face the law. Will you help me carry out the sentence? Mmm. Attacks become stronger and apply weakened. An aura damages enemies around you. The damage an enemy takes increases every second it's in the aura. Uh, divine shield. On cooldown, you gain a shield that prevents the next time you would take damage. Let's try the aura. Okay. And what is this? Withering Tree. Uh, gain less XP, but gain summon damage. All skills offered are novice, but gain 111% more XP. Gain life regen. Life regen. I already had some. I'll take more just because there's no negative effect on it. Dude, the freaking garlic is strong. Lady Justice is harsh, but also merciful. Order is a difficult thing to maintain, especially in the realm of the gods. Okay, so we've got justice and ice on this one. Attacks have a chance to throw ice shards. You move faster and leave a trail of frost uh, wherever you go that chills enemies. And your attacks become stronger and apply chilled. Let's do path of frost. Now we can move around in our high heels more quickly. So I see something gold on the minimap. I'm going toward that right now. Plus one to dash charges. Nice. This game does definitely seem to support you not staying in one area and farming. It like wants you to move around because of those golden bonuses. Inventory. What's the button to compare? Alt is compare. Alright, I'll keep on going. So you intend to siege rather than fight openly? Cowardice. Let me show you how a real warrior does it. Mm -hmm. Rampaging attack. Alright, so we got the. What is it? The war guy and the ice. Girl and Justice on this one. And Banana told me last time you can only have three gods blessing you per run. So those are the three we're going to see for this one. Your dash damages and knocks enemies back. Let's get Rampaging Attack again. Keeps them away from me. Muck has actually not gotten the one god I get every run. Maybe it's because I'm like still in like the early story or something, so I'm not seeing all of the stuff. Uh, cannot be equipped. Heavy armor, okay. Only like medium armor, light armor. Hades has a limit too, right. He 
swung at me and I saw evade. Is that on my armor? I didn't know I have evade. Plus evasion. Where's that at? 2.9% evade chance. Oh, I got really lucky that I evaded that. Plus 4% to luck. I'm having trouble seeing the red circles because of my own big yellow circle. It's like playing a scourge. a lot of damage there. Okay, drop the chest. Do not take what war criminals such as Krom offer, hero. Uh, I mean, we just met too. Does this increase the size of the aura? I don't think so. You restore more life from all sources. On cooldown, light rays spawn on the battlefield that continuously damage enemies for a limited duration. Let's try light rays. So I got satellite lasers now? Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Well, that didn't go well. That did not go well at all. Uh, Radiance was doing quite good. We only had light rays for a second, so we didn't really get to see that. Mm, I think only two characters have unique minions, Fire Lady, and one Muck does not have. Uh, okay. You think we can beat death? I can, you I doubt. Sideways looky face. It's like talking to Noxie. Okay, let's go back to the fire gal. Wait, do I still have the same gear? Oh, does she keep like keep the gear from last time? Hold on, where's the merchant? gear changes every run. No, but does the gear on your people change each run, or does it stay? It stays? Interesting. That's very different from, like, Halls of Torment done. Plus three to max life. It's like a... Days, but you need to each character. Fired right? up. Mm. She added fire to our fire. So we've got more fire per fire now. Minus luck. Oh, wow. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think I've ever seen a purely negative uh, interaction like that before. Bless you. Thank you. When my time comes, life shivers and hides. How can the living appreciate my beauty with his scythe above them? Hmm. Hmm. 
try dive. I haven't tried it before. So it's whenever I dash, it makes ice shards. Peace of mind. I don't know what that does. Collect all the stuff on the map. I see how I built this time. Yeah. Going old school. Mm. Meteors. Plus 4% to attack damage. Status effects do more damage with burning and chill. Are you worthy? Test virtues. You are deemed virtuous. I have no idea what that did. Vampire Survivor 2.0. It's, uh... It's funny. Vampire Survivors had a... Uh, there was another game that was kind of similar to it called Halls of Torment. And, you know, it has, like, equipment screens and stuff. So it was kind of like Vampire Survivors plus Diablo. This is like Halls of Torment plus Hades. of summer when you face so we got death, cold do I, not we got hot cold force injustice. your hand into revenge being impartial is a virtue uh chance are gonna smite it whenever they really stands a chance are gonna smite it when an army hits me is the damage back I don't like I'm playing the class caster lady I don't want to do a build based on me getting hit in the face preferably Aid? Am I not enough for you? <laughs> uh, uh, Searing level two. You feel no harm can come to you, probably limited in vulnerability. Peace of mind? I don't know what that does. Uh, 24 days till Ghost of Tsushima PC, are you in? I don't know. I looked at it, and I do like Souls Likes. However, it looks very similar to Sekiro, where it was like you couldn't customize your character. It was just like you are doomed with sword. That's it. You have to play this. You know, there's, you could not mix it up. So I'm a little worried, because in the end, I got sick of Sekiro and I didn't finish it. So I'm a little worried that it's going to be like that. So I'm saying I am thinking about it. That's my honest answer right now for ghosts. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Uh, Frost wolves keep enemies off me. I tested these before. They didn't do great summon damage, but they do do damage all over the screen. Sister got you first, of course. 
She just can't stop meddling in mortals' affairs. Well, for once she's not the lone fox on this. Mm. On cooldowns, frost zones spawn at random, dealing damage and leaving a trail of ice that chills enemies. Um. We have XP gain per second on this character. I don't have any form of health regen. The problem with the law is that it's heartless. I've faced justice before for my actions, and I do it again. Okay. Uh, powers do more damage. Fire elementals. Your fires have a chance to spawn fire elementals that apply burning. The chance increases with each fire. I've never seen this before. Gotta try it. There's one. Oh, is that a fox? Noxie would love this. Oh, I missed it. Uh, there was some back there. Something. Oh, it's a well. Plus 10 life heals. Okay. Why did you bring this garbage into the middle realm? Uh, Live the Life is a first-person life simulation game focused on deep player interaction with the environment. Design your apartment with advanced building features. Visit stores to buy furniture. Wait, what? Uh, are there gods for spring and fall? Not sure. Uh, I'm like less than two hours in, so there, I'm sure there's many I haven't met yet. Uh, I think my favorite bit about Sekiro is the ability to engage a camp by literally screaming fight me at them, triggering a sequence where you do the stereotypical samurai one-strike duels with a group of enemies. I, th I think I didn't get far enough to see that. I beat Lady Butterfly, which took me a while, or Madam Butterfly, whatever. The lady that ran around on the wires. And then I got to the point where you fight the guy that has three health bars and he gets progressively more naked in each health bar. And uh, he's like, in the last phase, he has like lightning and stuff. And I worked on fighting him for a few hours, and by the end, I was like, guys, I'm just getting frustrated. I'm really not having fun. <laughs> and so we decided to stop, but I never came back. Because it was like, the, the fight was very frustrating, and I didn't enjoy playing the character. Like, in Dark Souls, I could die for hours on end, but I'm playing a character I like. Does um, this game have snails? Mooklu snails. <laughs> it does not. I did let chat vote on what they wanted to see earlier after we finished the first bit of mutiny. And they said, uh, when I presented the options, this is what was, uh, this is what was going to Came up with chat. Attack type ability of this 
most of your damage. I will try. I will look for an opportunity to do that. Necromants are dead. And even if you're not running a summoner build, having like one set of summons, like right now the ice wolves, is uh, really good for just keeping stuff distracted. Kind of makes me think of like Soulstone Survivors. Even if you're not running a summon build, having like Chaos Golems just to get in the enemy's way is great. Uh, burning enemies leave fire when they die. I think that would help trigger more fire elementals. Let's try it. This game making the happy brain juice. It's doing all right. I'm enjoying it right now. I'd say not excessive happy brain juice, but there's a little bit there. Something good. Every few attack hits, you breathe fire, the damages or burns enemies in front of you. Sure. Uh, I got an amulet. Okay. 0.4% more master powers. Not sure if I've seen those or not. Um, I haven't even noticed Frost Zones. Frost Wolf level 2. Something gold over here to my left. Plus 4% bonus to attack damage. So, okay. This game looks nice. It's pretty good. 8% more to get this. Attack damage for each immobilized enemy. Immobilized enemies take 70% more damage. Let's do status effects. I'm slowing enemies. I don't know how much I'm immobilizing enemies. Uh... Oof. 
Dang, got further that time. Muck red gear back there. I I was just trying to stay alive, man. Just trying to stay alive. Searing attack was doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Mm, I'm guessing red gear's rare. I don't know that I've seen that yet. Fishing on oh my god, no. Fishing unlocked. Shot, we unlocked fishing. What what does this do the achievements do anything that affects gameplay? Is this an MMO? It is now. It's been promoted to MMO. Wait, what? I thought I had a point in that yesterday. Now I don't. I, unless they well, there was a patch. Maybe it uh maybe it unspent stuff. Range Shard pull area. Nothing I want to spend on. You could check gear at top of every character. Oh, that's useful. See, so yeah, because when I was selling that stuff, I was like, I know I could swap to the warrior and see if the sword's better than his sword. I'm not gonna bother with that, though, it's too much. I didn't realize I could check it all from that window. Free her to gain 18% luck. Me, after his hey. throne? No. Though if he could Golf just take a short break and listen for once, that'd be great. Hmm. Your attacks, your attack hits have a chance to spawn phantoms. Any enemies they pass through become cursed and lose a percentage of their current life. Uh, I don't think I've tried that before. Let's try it. Tell if the phantoms are moving randomly or if they're tracking things. Figures. I imagine he was a terrible parent. Um. Minus range, minus velocity, but plus two projectiles. Let's try it. We now have icy shot again. System bug doesn't have yet breach math, but I'm at max curse on it. Excavation spoiled. Oh no. I know there's an in-game system. My enjoyment is less Death has what? taken many life forms before their final I haven't seen him in here. had fallen. His theft of time cannot be allowed to continue. Whenever you gain a level, gain a random blessing for 30 seconds. On cooldown, create a time field at your position that damages and slows enemies and missiles in it. Uh, force your XP pull areas increased. Whenever you pull an XP shard through an enemy, it takes damage based on the experience in the shard. Let's start up. Your XP is my bullets. 